Welcome to another video by Ferros Technology. Today, we want to talk about the beginning of how to debug your applications. But first, we're going to talk about an ounce of prevention being worth a, a pound of cure later. So let's go ahead and get started. Many applications rely on a significant amount of VBA code in forms and reports also as standalone modules. Because of its power and flexibility, VBA is used for all aspects of application development from communicating with the user to messaging and transforming data on the way from tables and queries to forms and reports. Depending on how well organized the code is and whether simple conventions such as providing descriptive names for variables and procedures were followed, Tracking down even a small coding bug can be a frustrating experience. The first step in debugging your code is to avoid coding errors in the first place. It shouldn't come as any surprise that your coding habits have a lot to do with the type and number of errors you encounter in your applications. Often, the adoption of simple coding conventions eliminates all but the toughest syntactical and logical errors in VBA code. Naming conventions for procedures, variables, and constant don't have to be complicated, but a consistently applied naming convention can help you spot errors that might otherwise slip through the cracks. Trying to assign a value to a constant, such as using a string variable in a mathematical operation, and passing improperly typed arguments to a function are examples of problems that a naming convention can help you avoid. Your variables should have the smallest scope possible that still allows your program to work efficiently and effectively. Create your variables at the procedure level by default and only increase the scope when the logic of your code requires it. Keep your globally scoped variables in their own module. When the list of global variables begins to get too big, consider refactoring your code. So use constants. You know, constants are a great way to add readability to your code and prevent errors. When you use a constant like D discount underscore threshold, your intent is immensely more obvious than when you have a magic number like 5,000. Try to remove all magic numbers from your code and put them in descriptively named constants. Even if you don't succeed in getting all of them, your code will be more robust and error-proof than if you spread numbers around liberally. Keep your procedures short. In general, a procedure should do one thing. If you find your procedures are getting too long to fit the screen, consider breaking the procedure into multiple procedures and calling them, each of them from the main procedure. There are certainly cases in which procedures will do more than one thing. However, you'll find your code much easier to manage when you have many simple procedures as opposed to a few giant ones. Keep your modules clean. There is virtually no limit to the number of modules you can have in your project. All the procedures in a module should be related in some way. Modules behind forms and reports will contain event procedures for their parent object but should only contain other procedures that support those event procedures. Keeping only related procedures in a module will also give you more confidence that private variables in that module won't be misused. Use comments when necessary. Comments can be an important part of the code in your project. If you have too many comments, however, nobody will ever read them and they'll quickly become out of date as your code changes. Use well-named procedures, variables, and constants to make your code self-documenting. Use comments when you've coded something a little out of the ordinary or to explain why you took one approach to a problem over another. Comments should not describe what the code does, but why the code does it. Don't repeat yourself. Much of the code you write will seem repetitive, particularly when you're coding the events on a form with a lot of controls. 
If it seems like you're writing the same code over and over, consider moving the code into separate procedures and passing in arguments from the event procedure. If a change is required, you'll only have to change the code in one place, saving you time and preventing errors. Compile often. Compile your project after you've written or changed several lines of code. Don't wait until the entire module or project is written to compile. Catching syntax errors while you're writing code enables you to fix those code errors easily. You'll have a lot of information about what your procedure does and where it's used when you're writing it, which makes the, it the best time to catch errors. So I hope that you've gained some benefit from these rules of the road, so to speak, because catching errors before you propagate them into your code just makes a whole lot of sense and allows you to not have to do use your debugging tools quite so often. Stay tuned for our next video because we'll talk about those debugging tools and for, put you further on the road to writing good, solid VBA code. Look forward to seeing you then. Take care.